So in today's video, I'm going to be going over a long awaited topic on exactly how to get 360 degree movement by using a keyboard joystick in competitive Fortnite. This is a video that I've been waiting to make for a long time and I've had to keep it on the down low simply because I didn't have the product yet. But today I'm going to be reviewing the InnoStick product that is made by the company that is InnoVex. Before I get into it, obviously consider using code SunnotIYT. Let's hop into the video though. So basically, the InnoStick is a keyboard joystick from a California startup known as InnoVex, and they are revolutionizing the future of keyboard movement. This joystick basically simulates the movement of an Xbox 360 controller on a computerized joystick attachment. What you can do is just attach this little joystick on the bottom of your keyboard and then use it as instructed. Basically, what you're going to be able to do is move with your left thumb while you're using your keyboard. Not only will this free up a bunch of binds on your keyboard, but this is also going to be much more effective and much more practical than any of the 360 degree movement apps, such as Wooting, Keys 2x input, all of those. Really quickly on screen, I'm going to be putting up an unboxing of this. Basically, when I received it, they came with three things, which was going to be the cable, it's going to be the actual joystick itself, and then obviously the protective surfaces for the packaging. It came in a pretty small box, and if you guys are interested in purchasing it, please consider going into the description and checking that out. Now, Innovex obviously provided this InnoStick for free, but I will be reviewing it in depth in this video. First, I definitely want to go over why it's going to be better than double movement. Double movement is good using all of the apps that you might use, such as Wooting, Keys 2x, basically any of that. However, it still only allows eight directional movement. What this basically means is that when you move in Fortnite on a keyboard, clicking W, A, S, and D, you're only able to move in eight directions, which is going to be forward, diagonal one, diagonal two, sideways, diagonal three, diagonal four, and backwards. This inno stick also allows you to get that same extreme movement, but it also allows you to get a full 360 degree field of movement on top of that. Not only will this help you with making more of your decisions quicker, it'll also help you be more fluid when you're box fighting. You're gonna be able to move around quicker, you can crouch easier, you can just do everything pretty much easier. Turning will be easy, you'll be able to kind of, you know, glide smoother when you're building. Basically, everything here is going to be extremely useful. The other reason that it's also better than double movement is because it's a device. You don't necessarily need to launch up double movement every single time and change all of your keybinds and all of your settings around. All you really have to do is set it up once and then set your app to the point where it starts on your start of your computer and then you're pretty much good. It's going to start up every time and you can feel free to use it properly. Not only that, but this is much better to use because it's going to make you have optimal keybinds. Now in terms of how to set it up once you do get it and unbox it, I'm going to be putting that up on screen right now. Basically what you're going to be doing is activating two primary things. You're going to be going into your device manager and calibrating this. That's going to be up on screen as you guys can see. You're just going to go in there, calibrate it by moving your stick around in a certain amount of ways. And then once you're done with that, you're going to apply and click OK. Then you're going to go into the description and install the software that I have right there. Basically, that's just going to be the driver and the application software for the controller itself to set it. You're going to want to change all of the X axis and Y axis to sideways and up and down and make sure that everything is pretty much set up there. Make sure your controller is set up and all of that is functioning properly. And then once that is done, you guys can properly use the end stick in any game that you please. You just need to make sure that that controller app is open in the background while you're playing. I'd recommend you set it to launch during startup. That's the best setting if you guys want to always have it on. But once you guys are done with that, you're pretty much done setting it up. And obviously, once again, the setup video will be up here on screen. This setup video was made by Enostick on their channel. I'll also be leaving a link to that in the description. But now moving on to the next topic, I'm going to be going over how to arrange your keybinds. Since all of your keys and fingers have been freed up, all you need to now do is just rearrange it so that your keybinds will help you with your new free fingers. Now obviously I'm going to be going over what I changed my keybinds to, because if you guys don't know, I am permanently trying to switch to this. It's actually so good guys, I'm not lying, I'm definitely going to be trying to switch to this. 
Now that they're free, you guys can try and use your W, A, S, and D for things such as your weapon binds, your building binds, pretty much anything you please. You can use your side mouse buttons if possible, that is actually really important if you guys want to build properly and not use your index finger too much, but I'd recommend that you guys definitely consider using your middle finger more for stuff like basic tasks. For example, if you guys want to stop jumping with space, consider jumping with W, A, S, or D. You guys can use any of those at all, and they will all pretty much work the same. Your side mouse buttons can be reserved to your wall and your stair, or pretty much whatever other build piece you want, and keep in mind that you do have your mouse fully functioning. In terms of my keybinds, I have changed some stuff around. I changed my editing bind to C, I changed my pickaxe bind to V, I've now changed my floor bind to X, and I've changed all of my weapon binds down to layers. Basically now it's going to be S, A, D, all of those types of keybinds in that row. I've obviously changed my AR bind to caps lock. A bunch of stuff has changed, but it's not too much to the point where I can't learn it at all. I'd probably say that this is going to take me around a week to a week and a half to properly get used to, and that's a week to a week and a half of actually playing the game, but I'd highly recommend that you guys consider using this. If you guys want to find the most optimal keybinds with this inno stick, I'd recommend that what you guys do is try to divvy it up amongst all of your fingers, because now you have your pinky, your ring finger, your middle finger, and your index finger. You have four fingers that you can use for any amount of keybinds. You guys can change the different things in the middle of the keyboard, you can pretty much move it anywhere. Not only will this help you guys a lot when it comes to building, editing, and doing all of that, it's going to help you when it comes to moving faster, moving quicker, and being more efficient on your hands. In the long run, this is not only going to help you have better muscle memory when it comes to memorizing your keybinds, but it's also just going to make it easier to move around and play the game. And now to finish off this video, I do want to show just one quick one minute sample of me free building with it. I'm not the greatest with it yet, obviously I got it pretty recently, but as you guys can see, I am pretty decent with it. I do have some nice 360 degree movement, as I'm going to be showcasing here. But I do genuinely enjoy using this joystick. I'm going to keep using it as long as it takes to get used to it, and I'd recommend you guys do the same if you consider picking it up. Once again, thank you so much to Innovex for offering to reach out to me and send me this product to review. I'm very happy with the way it came in and the way it performs. But yeah, that's the whole video on the Inno Stick. If you guys did enjoy, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel down below. I have recently been trying to branch out with my content. As you guys can see, I have started uploading YouTube shorts if you guys are interested in that. But other than that, pretty much everything on the channel is just running smoothly. But that's about it for this video guys be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in the next video bye guys